ethnicity estimation tests really accurate? And on what basis it estimates your ancestry? Can it be used to determine somebody's race? Let's watch the following video in which Professor Russ Cordes would explain to us how does these tests really function. Hi, I'm Ross Curtis with the Ancestry DNA Science team. And we get a lot of questions about our Ancestry DNA ethnicity estimate. As people dive in and try and understand what it means and figure out what it means to their personal journey as they try and discover who they are. All right, so here's just a, an overview of your estimate. It might look something like this. And you can see at the high level that you have some regions um, in, in Europe or in other parts of the world that we have said that you have some ethnicity. Well, let's talk a little bit about how we got here and how you can interpret these results. So in order to understand what's going on with your ethnicity estimate, let's talk a little bit about the reference panel. This reference panel is a collection of people from around the world. We have 26 different regions where we've collected sa DNA samples from people who have a long history in a particular region. For example, we might have someone who has had all four of their grandparents, or all eight of their great-grandparents born in Norway or in the British Isles. Once we have these samples of people who have spent a long time living in that region, then we can make the assumption that their DNA is representative of people who have lived there for a long time. Now that we have the DNA from those reference panel individuals, we can compare your DNA to that reference panel. When you submit your saliva sample, we look at over 700,000 markers for you that we've also tested on our reference panel. This means that the result of these tests cannot determine your very deep ancestry, but it can determine which modern day region you're more genetically closer to its population based on the available database collected from these regions. They won't determine your race, they'll give you regions you're closer to. If you're from certain region and the company has a rich database with many samples from your region, you might get scores as high as 100% because the database might have DNA sample that are genetically close to you. It doesn't mean you're racially pure, it just means you genetically resemble to the samples on the database. That's why different companies give different results like in the following video. Ancestry.com results. I was born and raised in Algeria. Uh, both my parents are 100% Algerian and 36% North African or 11% um, Sub Sahara Africa. And in that 11%, I've got 5% um, Senegal, 3% Mali, 1% Africa East, Bantu. And less than 1% Ivory Coast Ghana, and less than 1% Benin and Togo. I have 27% Middle East, which is where I am 25% European, and out of that 25%, I have 19% um, Iberian Peninsula, 4% Italy Greece, and 2% European Jewish. I have uh, less than 1% Melanesian.